Scott Baum will now present you with a diploma, making you an honorary member of the Glasgow High School. Mr. President. During the last, during the last five years, Mr. President, stronger. We thank you for your leadership. We thank you again for picking Glassboro, where President Johnson and Alexei Kansigan were able to discuss world peace to have you as president back here again to discuss world peace as a honor for the town and for our state. We're proud that you've chosen the president of the United States. Well, thank you, thank all of you, but I want you to know that I I'm a great admirer of your good governor, Governor Kane. So, a good afternoon and thank you to all of you. I can't tell you how honored I am that so many of you would come out here to say hello and just let me say how grateful I am for you making me feel so much at home. It's been so long since I've seen so many signs I guess my favorite was the one I saw on the way in that read, I flipped for jelly beans. <laughs> then there was a photo that appeared the other day in the Gloucester County Times. 
and it showed five fellows in high school with a message painted on their chest. The first fellow's chest had the letter I, the second had a heart, and the rest had the letters R-O-N. I love Ron. Well, after seeing that, I peeled down a little bit and started trying to paint I love Glassboro on my own chest, but there wasn't room. <laughs> By the way, I thought you'd like to know that my pilot, Captain Jack Souter, he was raised, he was raised just down the road in Gibbstown. It means a lot to Jack to be here today, and I wonder, well, you've already done it, I was going to ask you to give him a cheer so that he could hear it over there in the helicopter. Now, I've been told that you all listened to my remarks that I made inside, and I don't want to keep you for another speech, especially since I know that some of you have been here since 3.30. And besides, Jack Souter has his kids to get home to. Come to think of it, Nancy told me as I was leaving this afternoon not to be late for dinner. Thank you. Give me an audience like this and I just can't resist the temptation to say a few words. Flying over your town today and speaking to those young people who grew up among you, being here with you, it is all been a lesson in the great and essential goodness of our nation. Just think of the 300 year history of Gloucester County. First came the Dutch, and then the Swedes, and the English Quakers who were seeking religious liberty. And each in turn found here a gentle and fertile country, a place here with, where with hard work, the earth could be persuaded to treat man kindly. And today, southern New Jersey is home to all of you, people of every background imaginable, Irishmen and Italians, blacks and whites, Christians and Jews, all living in peace, living in prosperity, and yes, living in freedom. Now, I may be a few days late, but permit me to say it anyway. Happy birthday, Gloucester County. And I'm especially touched to have so many families here today. As I look out, I can see some little ones sitting on probably their father's shoulders, and I can see some that aren't so little that are sitting on someone's shoulders, too. But certainly, it was their hopes for their children that brought our ancestors to America, the love they felt in their families that sustained them in building our nation. And today, our families give us strength still. And I have a feeling that Glassboro is a good place, a happy place for you and your families. <laughs> On the way in, I saw your neighborhoods and your churches and schools, your baseball diamonds and swimming pools and football fields. And you know, it, it really moved me and gave me Heart, it put me in touch with America that sometimes you can lose touch with when you're down there on the banks of the Potomac and all the basic values that we're working so hard in Washington to defend. It even kind of reminded me of a town of about 10,000 in Dixon, Illinois, where I grew up. I guess what I'm trying to say is that Glassboro gave me a gift today and for that, my friends, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. So, I got to get Jack Souter back home, so I best we guess we'd better get going. But thank you again, and believe me, I will always remember the good people of Glasgow. Thank you, and God bless you.